Welcome back. Parents know how fast kids grow out of clothes and get bored with their old toys. Well, today we have a solution to those common problems. Isn't this great? Each one of these wonderful women with us today owns a kid to kid resale store here in Colorado, and they have just the solution that we all need, especially you at home right now watching your child to get tired of that last toy that you probably spent a lot of money on, right? All right. First of all, we're going to start with Jolene. OK, let's talk about the kid to kid store. Yours is in North Glen, correct? Yeah. Correct. All right, so what, talk about why it's important to really just shop resale. Absolutely. Um, shopping resale benefits in so many more ways than you would think. Um, it helps keep money in our communities, which is so important nowadays, but also um, it helps employ families in the area, as well as we all work with local charities and nonprofit organizations, so you give back in that way too. And then just as one mom to another, um, we found that shopping resale was a great way to be able to afford great brand name clothes yeah. as something that I could afford. Well, it is because, boy, they do grow quick, right? And Absolutely. boy, the minute you buy something, they're out of it, and then you're like, ah. Okay, let's also talk about environmentally conscious stuff. This is another thing. A lot of moms I know, we became really concerned about this kind of stuff. We didn't want to keep throwing stuff away. Right, absolutely. And one of the great things about shopping resale is we're able to keep items out of the landfills. We are setting up a way to inspire our children to reuse and recycle, and then that saves the environment. And let me give you an example. Um, saving just one shirt from the landfill, is a piece of clothing can stay in there for up to 200 years. Oh. So um, if you are able to do that over a lifetime, you're saving hundreds and thousands of pounds out of the landfills. And recycling just feels good. It does, doesn't it? And just to feel like you got more of your money's worth out of it. It too if you can help someone else as well. Cynthia, we're going to you. Yeah. Aurora, that's where your store is, yes. right? So how we're at the corner of Mississippi and Chambers. Um, and uh, we're just happy to serve our community as well. Really, when you shop resale like this and your kid to kid store, it's really a win win too for yes, families, absolutely. isn't it? How is that? Uh, kid to kid is a win win because we are not traditional resale. Uh, we pay you on the spot in cash for those um, amazing styles that you bring in to sell that your kids have outgrown. And then you can take that right back and turn around and find the same styles um, in the store uh, in that next size that your kids will need. Absolutely. And then you've also got, so all these Colorado locations, they're family owned. Is that Correct. right? Yeah, we are all hardworking moms who are in our stores every day. Um, you'll find us many days. We know um, most of our customers by name and uh, we are all there to help you have a great experience with kid to kid Well, my boys are a little bit older now, but even still, it still goes, it, every mom has something in common and that is we want to make sure our dollar goes as far as it can. Mm -hmm. And if it can help other moms or other families, why not, right? Yeah, we want to, we, we're very picky about where we spend yeah. that money, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Okay, now Serena, we're going to go to you. Tell us where your, where's your store located? I actually have two stores. One of them's in Littleton at the corner of Wadsworth and Cross, just north of Southwest Plaza. Okay. And then the other one is in Arvada at the corner of 52nd and Wadsworth across the parking lot from Sam's Club. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you've got two of them. I Talk do. about how easy this is for parents and, and people to go ahead and bring their stuff in or to actually get stuff as well. So we buy six days a week and we're looking for gently used items. Okay. With the, when it comes to clothes, we're looking for you to have them freshly laundered. If you lay them flat in a box or a bin like this, it just take, saves us time to go through them and it saves you time when you're in the store. If you're bringing in, um, well, back to clothes, if you're bringing in infant items, yeah. if there's outfits, make sure that you just put the infant outfits together because Again, you know what goes together better than we would know what goes together. So it just makes it easier um, for you and for us and saves you time when you come in. Sure. If you're bringing in toys or baby gear, then um, we just ask that you clean it, gently clean it, wipe it down, the shoes, that sort of thing. We buy um, newborn up to size 14. We also wow. buy maternity. We buy toys, shoes, baby gear, pretty much anything kid related. Well, as a mother of twins, I knew how hard it was to be, just have as much to have enough, right? You didn't even have to have a match or anything. You just nope. wanted to have, have an, enough I, clothes. I have twins as well. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so you, I mean, it doesn't matter how many children you have. Even if you've got that one at home and you're sitting there going, "How did he outgrow this already?" or "How did he already destroy that toy?" or something that you want to do. Um, there. What about guidelines for parents? I mean, other than those little simple rules that I say rules they're probably yeah. not really they're just simple things but is there anything else that parents need to know it's pretty much just what I kind of explained yeah. if you just bring them in laid flat in a bin it'll save you time it'll say it'll make you more money whenever you do bring those items in well even as teenagers I still have clothes that my boys have that still have tags on them because 
they didn't even get to wear them before they grew out of yeah. them. And we know that as well, right? Well, and generally when we're when you're looking at to bring in items, um, we are looking for current styles. Kids want to be trendy these yeah, days. I know. And so we're looking for styles probably within the last couple years. And then when you're going through them, just Obviously, don't bring in things with stains or holes. It just makes it. Yeah, if you don't, you're not going to want it. Exactly. You know? So, you know, a little washing or something, a little spray and wash before you take exactly, it in. Exactly. Ladies, this is wonderful. This is the kind of thing that so many families need, and it doesn't matter how old your kids are. I mean, honestly, boy, help a girl out, right? This is the way to go. Thank you guys so much. Thank Let's you. remind everyone about your locations. Here you are. There are four front range locations Arvada, Aurora, Littleton, and North Glen. You can also vid visit kidtokid.com to find your closest location. Right now, get $10 off a $30 purchase or 40% more in-store credit. Get an early start on your spring cleaning. Get those gently used kid items to your nearest kid-to-kid -kid location. They paid for today's segment. Don't go anywhere, stay with us.